we are getting some brand new details on that visit to the White House Devin Nunes made where he saw that information from a source on the surveillance that caught members of the Trump administration as well as how the names were unmasked. The unmasking of the names of American citizens. Adam Housley joins us now from Los Angeles. Adam, you've been working on this this morning. What can you tell us? Yeah, Harris, we've been uh, been spoken to by a number of sources for the last couple of days, and it really came to a crescendo this morning because of a report yesterday that apparently outed two of Nunez's sources. Our sources, who have direct knowledge of what took place, were upset because those two individuals, they say, had nothing to do with the outing of this information. So let's go through what some of the headlines are. Uh, first of all, we found and uh, we've learned that the surveillance that led to the unmasking uh, what started uh, way before President Trump was even the GOP nominee. So basically they started the surveillance to all this at some point earlier last year. The person who did the unmasking, I'm told, is very well known, very high up, very senior in the intelligence world, and is not in the FBI. The, also, the, uh, this led to other surveillance which led to multiple names being unmasked. Again, these are people who are private citizens in the United States. This had nothing to do with Russia, I'm told, or foreign intelligence of any kind. Uh, we're also told the people who helped Devin Nunes navigate were the two individuals um, that the story was reported yesterday about, um, but they were not his sources. It was a navigation situation. And the reason why they had to navigate, I'm told, is that Nunes learned about this unmasking and who this, this was taking place back in January, and it t before Trump's tweet, before he met with the president, and it took obviously a number of weeks to try to figure out a way for him to see this intelligence because the agencies were stonewalling, we're told, to allow him and others to see it. Now, this is all coming from folks that are in these agencies and frustrated with the politics that's taking place in these agencies. We're told that the main issue here is not only the unmasking of the names, but the spreading of names for political purposes that have nothing to do with national security and everything to do with hurting and embarrassing the Trump and his team. Also, Nunes, we said, knew about this existence again way before, back in January, um, before the Trump's tweet. Uh, Fox also learned that an, an individual with direct knowledge that after Nunes had been approached by his source, the agencies basically would not allow him in at all. Now, remind you, there's only, we're told, only two places he could have seen this information. The first place is where the source works. Clearly, that would have been an outing. The second place, we're told, is at a location on the White House grounds. Now, I'll remind you, the White House is not just the White House that we all see. There's the old executive office building where you can also access after hours and get to the same type of highly sensitive information. So as you can tell, Harris, a lot of information coming out here. Uh, we're starting to get much more details on this as the intelligence community really is battling within itself on this. But it seems like there may be a couple of agencies involved here. Um, and there are a number of people now we're being told that names have been unmasked again, private citizens in the U.S. Um, this is unprecedented, Harris. Yeah, and I know from some of the information that we've been reading today, it, those two locations, either the sources computers or on the White House grounds computers. And so when you ask Only the questions places. about why Nunes would have met there, you're starting to get some real clarification about that. Adam Housley, the story coming together today as you learn more, I'm sure we'll bring you in to report it. Thank you.